Hey, what's up, everybody? Saxon564 here. And today, I'm just coming to you with a v random video, so to say. Um, so first, let me do a quick update as to what's going on. I know it's been a few weeks since I last uploaded. And I do plan on uploading again soon. I just haven't really had the time. I'm working for uh, BLI, which is Key's company. Uh, I've been trying to keep up with some work that our client wants, and with Fargo being on vacation and having to learn some new things myself, it hasn't been easy to keep things going. So you, so in that respect, YouTube is my lower priority, and I had to stop for a while while I got the rest of it, well, I got it all taken care of. With that said things have eased up now I'm not as busy so I should be able to get back to it um, I'm hoping to start uploading March 2nd I uh, if things go well this is being uploaded today which is February 28th um, but yeah so what am I doing here why is this here why am I around it so I've been watching Another guy on YouTube who goes by the name Adult Adults Only Minecraft, or, or Mark, as is his actual name, as far as I know, that's what he says. But I don't know. But he was one of his more recent videos. He showed his automatic brewer, and. I've pretty I've replicated it here exactly how he has it set up. And I was thinking, okay, that's a little more complex than it really needs to be. So I I was comment I commented on the video. I've been want I've been watching him for a while now, commenting on most of his videos, and said that he, there's a good chances are he can really cut down on the amount of resources used and overall make it look nicer so I've been I've spent the last I'd say two two and a half hours just going from this which I originally built over there right over here and I've cut it down to this much cleaner much nicer and I actually slimmed it down to only three blocks as opposed to four over here plus you actually save a lot of resources this way so, now to show you how it works over here, uh, you press the button, this is, uh, the brewing stand is already full with the potions, you press the buttons, you get the button, you get th those three potions, and then it starts brewing a new batch, um, so this runs into that hopper, locking it, these delay the signal to these dispensers, and to unlock the bottle return. And by bottle return, I mean where the water bottles come from. So, after seeing this, it, I'm realizing, okay, I see several areas in which repeaters could fit in and work really well with still getting the delay. And then there's other areas in which could just be slimmed down altogether. So, he's got... What? Including those repeaters, five blocks of width. And it, to me, it's just a little overdone. You don't need five blocks of width to do something like this. So over here, what I did is I started trimming things down. So now I've got this redstone torch, which, if you remember over there, runs to a redstone dust that's on the ground. Well, I've been... Ugh, well, I've pushed these two back to be flush with that back block, set the redstone torch up right there, placed a block here, and put redstone dust on that. So, because if I don't put, if I place the redstone dust down here, this hopper gets locked because this block is active. So by placing a block here with redstone dust on it, it's not act, it's not locking any hoppers. 
and I can use still keep this piece of redstone into that hopper. Now with this setup right right here alone, you've already uh, saved five iron, five iron eight planks. Now planks, yeah, those aren't the most of <laughs> most valuable resource, but the iron already right right in these few blocks, five iron saved. So I just kept going and playing around with it. I figured out you can actually remove an entire repeater. And everything still works perfectly fine. In fact, it even makes it even more efficient because that's four less redstone ticks that it's waiting. Which, over time, that adds up quite a bit. So, now with these repeaters, what I end up doing... If you remember over here, he has them lead into two pieces of redstone. That leads into this block that has a torch, and now you've got to wrap your redstone all the way around. That was, in my opinion, that's really unnecessary. There's no reason to do that. Um, So I led the repeaters straight into this block. There's a redstone torch right here. And what I did on this block is, since this line always has to be active until you need to put bottles in. What I did was I placed a redstone torch on this side of the block whoa, to keep that hopper locked and on this side of the block to transmit the signal up by placing yet another redstone torch underneath this dispenser. So I, And you can place redstone right on top of... Actually, I used droppers. I think he used dispensers. I can't remember. But if you use droppers, that still saves you some resources. You don't have to build five bows to make five drop five dispensers. You can just use the droppers. So you can place the redstone right on top of the droppers. And that'll... So you can cut out almost two entire sections of, of whatever you're building in resources. So I've done numerous tests every time I made a change. These are all the potions I've made. I've got nothing in there, nothing in there, and nothing in there. So let's see. Three potions in the bottom row. These ones are ready. Um, one other thing I did is I... He had the chest out an extra bit. One more hopper. You don't really need to do that. You can move it back. However... However much you want. You could set it here if you wanted. But I do understand the more hoppers you have, the more storage space you have. But what I did, I moved that single chest forward one and then realized, wait, I can put make it a double chest, doubling the inventory in here, and get even more storage that way. Now again, either way, you can move it out as far as you want this way, and it still increases your storage capacity. But this is the way I, this is the uh, most compact way. In fact, you could even, if you wanted to, um, put a trap, a double trap chest here and increase your capacity even more. Now, I wouldn't really suggest trap chests just because those throw off sig redstone signals when they're opened and it can screw something up if you're not careful. So, with that said, let's run this. If you remember, three in the bottom. So we see those just got removed, and now three bottles are already placed in. It's brewing, and we've got six right there. Nothing extra. No water bottle in this hopper. That was my biggest concern, a water bottle ending up in this hopper, but since it's not this, I think... Based on his design, taking his design and reworking it, this is the best you will be able to get. I know there's other ways that are more compact, but this is the best way using his design to get it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned a bit, too, um, about how how much you can really compact redstone when you take the time and use... Use the full mechanics of redstone to the full... Wow. Almost uh, <laughs> almost had redundancy there. Use the mechanics of redstone to their fullest extent. And even I didn't truly use them to their fullest extent. But I mean, 
Look at this. Redstone components that just require redstone. So you got five dust here. Of course, there's your five droppers. Each of those requires one. Three repeaters. Five torches. And four more dust down here. That's not a whole lot. That's pretty cheap, if you ask me. Your most expensive part is going to be creating four, 14 hoppers here. Yes, I've al I already know there's 14. Six here, four here, and then four for that spot. I just put this one here because the chest was getting full and I didn't want it to overfill. But, with all that said and done, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you did learn something about how... How compact you can tr really make redstone when you take the time to just do something simple like this. This is what really saved the space. I mean, you look over here. You've got one entire row here you don't need. So that that really helped. Um, now some of you may say, well, when it's active, this hopper is going to be locked. That doesn't matter because all of these hoppers are filled. And by the time it unlocks, these three are already going to be filled. So, I mean, it it doesn't do anything, really. So, this right now, this hopper is locked, and this hopper is locked for this set. When, it, when everything's running, this is the only hopper that's locked. It won't pass on, but it'll still pull out. Pull items out of the chest. I realize now I should be more careful with what I say. But, anyway. I know I've said it a few times already. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And maybe I'll do more things like this. Take other people's creations. And just try to see what I can do to compact them down. I mean... I enjoyed doing this. I haven't done redstone like this in quite a while. Uh, the most recent was the do Doors for Mineland on the Minecraft server. But that is beside the point. Um, I've said it all already. So I <laughs> I've said all my... I don't know what to say anymore. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.